All right, hey, welcome to Wednesday, or if your Wednesday's already happened, what a great way to end it with some Geo Gas here. Last time, I got upset. Then I saw Fukushima, and I was like, this is fascinating. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go and watch Monday's episode. I had a docket of things planned out I was going to talk about. Then uh, a certain place happened, and then a certain place happened right after that, and it was just like, Fuck the world. But I'm recording all three of these in a row. And uh, I was going to talk about Nouveau Quartier. What university is this? Maybe this is a university? I don't know. But I was going to talk about yesterday, as in Saturday. I uh, hiked a mountain with a couple of my friends. And I am extremely sore today. It was about a total up and down three hour, three and a half hour hike. Definitely worth it when you look at a hindsight, but there was a couple of times that even with all the quote unquote training I was doing, I got, I still got destroyed. I mean, the trail that we went on was considered medium. And that was kind of just a mix of the start of it was super intense. Mid was all right, just flat mainly, and then near the summit, oh god, I got rough again, but it's, you, you go, you go hiking for, to see cool shit, and you understand that Otako seems to be a very popular place. Good for you guys. You do, like, Irish tacos? That sounds great. I mean, I told you about my potaco. I hope I did. Where? I need to do this at some point. Take a baked potato, a hollow, carve out all the potato on the inside, keep the skin, then fill the skin with, like, either things you would put on top of a potato or put, like, taco stuff inside it. It's a great idea. I love it. But getting back to the hiking, super sore today. And there's a thing that I wish that um, the body and the mind were able to do, which makes me just keep complaining about our brains and our body, they've been together for a long time. There should be a bit more communication involved here. Like, there should be some prep. And what I mean is, I should be able to tell my body, Hey, uh, body, I'm going to go hiking here, either tomorrow or in a couple of hours. And it would be great if you could, like, prepare yourself. Because I could very easily get super sore and be in a lot of pain for a couple of days. But if you do things to... uh prepare the muscles to be ready so we could uh both not be in so much pain when it comes around to the uh hike it would be great because if we were going back to like primal instinct stuff fight or flight stuff if i was hiking one day and then the next day i'm super sore i'm being chased by some saber-toothed tiger i would have way more stamina and ability to live and or escape if I was able to tell my body to put body stuff in the muscles to prepare them never to get sore in Versailles? Where is oh, it's Versailles is right outside uh, Paris. Click here. I'm actually going to click directly on Versailles. That is where Louis XIV's um Chateau house or something, I think. They got fancy. Ooh, see, over here. Get me to this thing. Well, it looked cooler farther away. Fine, whatever. Yeah, give me give me those points after what you did to me last time. But we've had bodies. Like, another thing. You always talk about, um, what are they called? The, uh, um... The little things, the squat, squatty potty, whatever the hell those things are called. Like, if we're sitting down, instead of squatting to take a dump, we don't dump as well. That should have been taken care of a long time ago. Just because I'm like, body, you should be able to take care of this stuff. And again, if the conscious part of our body was able to talk the, to the subconscious part of our brain, or, yeah, I'm talking about brains, not body. Or even to the body itself. 
to fix, like, make sure this doesn't become an issue to begin with, a lot of cross traffic does not stop, so. This may have a root sign. Speed limit 45, weight limit 10 tons. That tells me absolutely nothing. All right, so let's get on this road. All the problems in, like, a lot of the problems that we have with our bodies could be taken care of very easily. Like, we're still in the mode of saving all the energy because, like, our primitive ancestors needed to store all the energy because they don't know the next time they're going to eat. Generally, that's not a problem anymore. Yes, there's still hunger everywhere, but I'm just saying, generally, we're humans in the developed part of the world. Everyone else will catch up at some point. It was far better off than we were like a thousand years ago. Why is there so much of a lag with the human body to evolve and develop in that way? Is it because we don't actually have the strife we had when we were hunter-gatherers being cha actually having predators on us? Like, should we actually go back to a time when humans weren't able to easily walk around the world and not feel like they were going to be destroyed at every turn? I don't know. I kind of like not having to worry about that stuff, but I also can understand the point of where the hell are we? I don't know. I need some information. I don't think I'm going to get it here. Trees don't help me here. None of these people's houses are helping me. I'm not seeing any flags. I just have speed limits. We're in the U.S. somewhere. They have trailers. They have trailers everywhere. Like, I don't know. I think about that, especially with... We're, we're talking... I'm going to hit home and try another way. I'm going to go this way. Because I just don't know where the hell we are. Mm, you don't help me. Will this help me? Ricky's aluminum steel welding. That doesn't help me. Great House Road. Mm, nope. Not seeing any flags anywhere. Like, how are we supposed to... Are we just stagnating the potential evolution of the human? I don't know. Like, this is far beyond my purview of any kind. I've got 20 seconds. I still have no idea where we are. Other than we're in the U.S. I feel like it's kind of like... Centered it a bit. I'm going to go Oklahoma. No. Who the fuck no. This, this, this is flat. This is all I've got to go on. And I'm hoping I'm not too far off. Come on. We're in Louisiana. Who would have fooled me? We're at four stars. Like, there's been a pat... Like, the, the past couple of GeoGuessr episodes. I've come on these roads that just don't say anything like i can get the country but then after that it's just like nondescript okay i know where we are there's only one country in the world that has like these lines and although unless it's lithuania estonia or uh latvia bad things will happen but this this i feel is poland i don't know where in poland yet but poland's not that big of a country uh, controller, I don't know what that's, oh, this is radar controlled speed limit, I think that's what that means. And we'll see dot PL, very easy to follow and understand here. Now I just need to see if I can find some road signage to tell me what highway we're on, but I don't know if I have anything else really to say about, okay, here we go, to say about the, uh, how the body is lagging behind the brain as far as developing compared to he's like gonna go real far down three four six i don't know if i'm gonna find oh wal wa or walva um every time i'm sitting here trying to pronounce this right now i just forget my train of thought Oh, the, the, the body and brain lagging. I'm sorry, I've had to restart. 
stop this a couple of times now, but yeah. <clears throat> Shouldn't there be a little bit more input involved as far as like developing? Okay, don't go that far. I go that far. Go this. Go to like here. Diabetes could probably be. Diabetes could probably be prevented or stopped, even if we had a little bit more conscious input. Oh, we're getting to the three hundred. I'm going to click over here. Excuse me. If we had a little bit more conscious input as to how we absorb things. I don't know. Like, is there a way we can actually kickstart that? Like, if we mess with some genetics, we're getting closer numerical, numerically. Like, if, would that just be like turning on a, okay, we got the 345 here. 346. Okay, I need to find. Oh, 346 is a very long road. There's oh, heading north that way. The road to. I'm gonna click like here. See if that's right. We're gonna get into a town here. I think. Oh, it doesn't say what the town. It's just saying we're coming into a town. Like, how would you even? What is step one in trying to figure out how to fix that or, or make that be a thing? Like, all right, we have to change the genetics to specifically let the conscious brain be able to uh, control subconscious things. And then how do you know what things to turn on? Be like, okay, we turned that on, but we also accidentally turned on the, you actually physically having to think about your heart beating. But that's weird too. That if you have to physically always be thinking about having the ability to breathe, that's like a conscious action. It it doesn't seem to be an issue when you're sleeping. Got some horse boxes, huh? We're in this section up here, potentially. Unless this is on the other the opposite side of the world. I don't think it is though. How to, is, is sleeping, yeah, you're unconscious for, but it's still sleeping just is automatically taken over as you're, you, you don't stop sleeping. This is a really dumb and stupid way of explaining this because I keep tripping over my words, but you don't stop breathing because you, uh, I don't think I'm going to find South Kilworth anywhere on here. You don't stop breathing because you're asleep. It, it it still happens. Like, it's not subconscious or whatever it is. I don't know how to describe this. I'm having a very hard time. And there's another thing, too. There's a series of videos that I was watching about uh, Little Bones, huh? That's a great, weird name for a house. There was a pretty good in-depth analysis. It, um, it's, I think it was Wisecrack. They're a pretty good YouTube channel. They talk about philosophy stuff. I don't know how well or right it is. I just know that it's interesting and compelling. It talks about different um, philosophies and TV shows and explains it. And there was one, I believe he was explaining Evangelion. If you don't know what that is, it was an anime in Japan. It was pretty influential for its time. Uh, I watched it a lot when I was younger. Uh, and they talk about this one specific ph uh, philosopher who would talk about what well, we've got. I think that's just this historical district. Yeah, that doesn't help anything. All right. And he talks about how one of the main strifes with existence is the inability to completely be able to explain yourself with words. Like, say you want, you're looking for companionship. The only problem with being actually able to explain your feelings and your ideas in a concise manner without actually having like signals get crossed, people misunderstanding what you're saying, 
Whereas it would be easier if you were able to just have someone plug into your brain and just be like, I can't explain this very well, but here's what I mean. And they just get like Stanford on Avon of Swinford. Well, I found Swindin. You're like, I'm having a hard time saying this here. Let me just plug into your head. All right. I completely understand what you're saying. Like, I have ideas and thoughts, and I don't really actually talk to many other people about it, because whenever I get together with friends, we just usually to that bullshit and talk about stuff. I'm not saying this is a bad thing, because we're having fun while we're doing it, but if I'm sitting here just talking in my own head about what I'm thinking about, if I have these ideas be and try to explain it to anybody... The only person I'm really talking to is in my head, and since I already understand what I'm talking about, I don't need to explain it. All I can just be like is say one or two words, and then my brain's like, I totally understand what I'm saying, me. Whereas if, uh, Stratford on, it's not Stratford on Avon. I feel like that's closer to, I, I don't know, I really don't. But, okay, I thought the mic was off. I would have been really mad. I'm also still recording. Apparently I was close. Five stars. But anyway. Is this South Africa? I cannot make that out. These signs are just too far away for me to see. Big five B and B and conference. I don't know where this is. Big English here. Australia wedding big five this is a weird place to have a Middleburg sandblasting corrosion control Sharara Lumbi taxidermy is that ZA that would have been the website I need to understand where we are but not not seeing it. And they have trains here. Anyway, I wish that I would be able to just have you plug into my brain and me actually trying to explain what I'm talking about would make way more sense if I was just be like, here's what I mean. I can just say it in my head. I feel like I'm not trying to say that they wouldn't say this stuff in Australia, but I really feel that this is more of an Thing you would see this type of word the way the, the it, it's constructed is something I've seen in some of my line of work that I've had that I can never really talk about because I've had to sign disclosures about it that type of word you would see in this country but it was ZA this is in Zaire Zaire doesn't exist it's the Democratic Republic of the Congo now unless it was Zambia I don't know I need to see some, they, they, I need to see some, I mean, the pictures aren't bad here, I just can't, well, I need to see what side of the road they're driving on, I believe it's, yeah, that's a, I believe they drive on that side of the road in South Africa, I don't know, hmm, We've been in this position before, being at 18,000 points, but also being at the last guess. Top Ice, your local Mr. Ice. Give me a URL, Top Ice. You're not doing that. But in the last five minutes, I've hope, hopefully I've at least ex attempted to explain it well enough in the three or four times I've brought it up. That I would be able to explain what I'm trying to talk about much easier if you could just feel what I was trying to say instead of me actually saying what I was trying to say. Kind of a collective consciousness where it was just everyone understands without without needing to say words. This is going to help me immensely. 
I am very happy I found this. Middleburg. I do not see it. Whitbank isn't... No, Whitbank. I think I'm just up here. R104. Oh boy. N4. What's the N? Is that Namibia? I think I've done this before. That's bees. Um, Botswana. Oh, I apparently was out of time there. We'll just do four stars, whatever. And hey, that's quite the jump around from Mondays. Oh, what a weird episode. Bounced stuff all over the place here. Oh, my back started to hurt, but that's half the week done. And uh, I'm hoping that the rest of the week goes as fast as this did. Because if you sit back and think about it, it got pretty fast to get to Wednesday. And before you know it, Friday will be here too. But for everyone here, uh, thank you all for watching. If you could like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. Let me know if anything I actually talked about made any sense whatsoever. Or if any of this stuff actually is happening, I just don't know about it. But uh, for everyone here, uh, we will all thank you for watching, even though Evo's not here. Again, I'm recording these all at once. No idea if we have anything coming up on Tuesday or Thursday, but we'll find out. Both of us together. So, I know at least on Friday we'll have something. So, if anything, see you here at least on Friday. And I don't know what else to say. This is another bad ending. Whatever. Goodbye, folks. We'll see you next time.